All right, so I'm back with another video here. Um, it's an update to my first video I made uh, with the X-Touch One and Studio One. A couple people asked me if you can automate plugins with the encoder, and the answer is yes. Now, there is no way to change the, the assignment of the encoder from the actual X-Touch One. You have to do it from Studio One. So by default, the encoder is set to pan, but if we look at the software and then on the left side here, if you bring up, the ex if you click on external, and then click on, double click on X-Touch, the Mackie, Mackie panel comes up. And if you see up here, you can change the, the encoder can be assigned to track, sends, pan, plugin, or effects. So by default, it's pan. And you can see it change up here. And if I click plugin, it'll change to plugin. So now that's in, in plugin mode. So at this point, all you have to do is uh, create an assignment. So let's bring up a plugin. Let's assign the uh, mix centric knob here. All you do is click on it, and if you'll see up here, it changes to intensity. And then this will be grayed out, but if you click on click on that, it'll turn blue. At this point, it's assigned to that knob. Um, let's do another plugin. Let's say, let's bring up Mai Tai. And again, all you gotta do is click on the knob you wanna assign, and then you'll see it changes to cutoff. And then again, just click the little triangle. And now that's assigned to frequency, cutoff frequency. Now, one thing you have to be aware of is, I did this a couple times. If you click on, let's say you click on a knob, and then you put your hand over here, and if you look right up here, it changed to volume. The first couple of times I was wondering why is it changing to volume, and then I realized that if you touch this fader because it's touch sensitive, you control the fader from the encoder. So let's do that again. And you see if I touch the fader, it changes to volume. So if you accidentally put your hand like this, you might touch the volume uh, fader. So just be aware of that. So yeah, leave me some comments or questions and I'll try to answer them as best I can.